part two of talking about margin calculations and how platforms calculate risk in determining efficient use of capital. Um, we have to also talk about span margining. And span margining stands for standardized portfolio analysis of risk. And that's different than portfolio margin. It's different than Reg T margin. And um, I'm reading from the CME site right now. It is a system, it's a sophisticated methodology that calculates performance bond requirements by analyzing the what ifs of virtually any market scenario. All right, so how span works is basically it takes these calculations um, over a portfolio of derivative and physical instruments that might reasonably incur over a specified period of time, typically one trading day. They have six parameters that include price scan ranges, volatility scan ranges, intra-commodity spreading parameters, inter-commodity spreading parameters, delivery risk parameters, and short option minimum parameters. All right. So it's a very sophisticated, complicated method and way for um, margin to be calculated. Additionally, it's only calculated on the futures and future options. Maybe currency options as well, but I know for sure it's on the future uh, options. So let's just look at that real quick. All right, we'll go back here. Uh, let's go back 30 days. I know I've got some yes in there. All right, so we'll analyze that. So now you'll see that this, the ES, the E-mini, it's uh, options on the futures. You'll see that the true risk, the true money at jeopardy is still $7,450. That is what is truly at jeopardy in the market. And this construction, this position is only being, um, penalized is not the right word, it's only being held back $640 worth of margin, all right? So what that means is if I were to put this trade on in the SPX or in a Reg T account or in a, a standard uh, brokerage account, it would hold me back. It would cost me $7,000 to put this trade on. In a futures trade, in a futures account, you'll see that it's gonna cost me $640 to put on the same exact trade. And so what that will let you see almost immediately is that is a much more efficient and effective use of capital. And you'll see that these, I mean, <laughs> I am not even gonna pretend to know how they come up with these values, but it is it is based upon a lot of different parameters that calculate um, gigantic market moves, uh, black swan type events, okay? So you'll see that as the market would start moving down, this number changes all the time. In a Reg T position, this 7450 would never change. It's always going to be held back that much. So again, it's a further reduction of margin use, it's a better efficient use of capital, and it's just another way of effectively trading. And uh, you're still, you, I mean, it, I cannot emphasize this enough, the true risk is still the exact same. So please don't misunderstand that. But as you get more skilled in intermediate to advanced level trading, um, you will see that this is absolutely one of the better ways to trade options.